This is Mike at MSL Computers coming at you with another video. This video is about how to become a computer tech. I started be learning about becoming a computer tech way back in 1995. I started learning about computers from being in the chat rooms and people on, and, on AOL and people were talking about how to fix computers and all these different technical terms and I didn't really know what they were talking about and I just knew that I had a desktop computer that I just bought it was a old compact desktop and it was brand new at the time and I started thinking like uh, I gotta get some help and some advice on how to use this thing because I knew I wanted to be on the internet and it had Windows 98 way back in the day when Windows 98 came out, second edition, and I needed to know how to use this computer. So I started hanging around in the chat rooms and being, becoming friends with a lot of these people, a lot of people in there that sounded really knowledgeable about fixing computers, and if I had a question I could ask them. And, at first, I felt kind of funny asking questions, but then I saw a lot of other people were asking computer questions, so I started getting more comfortable, and I was asking them all these different things that I wanted to know about my computer and how to use it and what I can do with it and things like that. And uh, as time went on, I started getting good at it, and once I learned from the people after trying it on my own computer, because back in the day we had the AOL software and there seemed to always be some kind of issue with that. So I learned about the AOL software, I learned about Windows 98 and how to change things around and make things run better and it really was helpful. So then what I started doing is I started spending a lot of time, a lot of my free time, I'd go in the chat room and I'd start helping people and they were glad I helped them and after I started um, after a while, by the time, you know, I was showing a lot of people how to fix their computers and it was really cool and I felt really good about it and they were all really happy and uh, thanked me for showing them and they started showing people and then I started showing, kept showing more people and then eventually I started, uh, got into computer school and got really confident in what I was doing and I was uh, doing side jobs, repairing computers for friends and co-workers and things like that. And then I started running small ads and then I started fixing computers for small businesses and just home users, people that wanted to know about their computer and when something went wrong, they would call me and I would fix it. And you know, as, you know, as time goes by, Windows Millennium, and then Windows, it was Windows XP, Millennium, and, you know, the operating system started changing, and then you have Windows 7, and then this Windows 7 version is still good, but it's, you know, a few years old, Windows, Microsoft doesn't support it anymore, but now all the computers are coming with Windows 10, but I'm noticing a lot of people want me to put Windows 7 back on their computer because it's so much easier to use and I do that with a lot of customers and I also repair Windows 10 computers and I have computers that have Windows 10 or one or two of them here that I use but mainly I use the Windows 7 because I just really like it a lot and then I started fixing people's computers and then when you want to become a computer tech what I suggest you do is, you know, learn from people like me, ask many questions as you can. Uh, when you see something that's going on with your computer you're not sure about, uh, ask, uh, you know, write it in the comments and I'll give you the answer. The more you know, the more you're going to grow with it. And you can, I would say within a couple of months, you can start working on other people's computers once you get the general knowledge of the things that go wrong and how to fix them and stuff like that and I I will teach anybody that wants to know how to become a computer tech and my 
services are very reasonable. If you want to become a computer tech, just send me a message and I will work something out with you or I could teach you for a very affordable price and you could learn different things like uh, how do you install Windows. I could teach you how to install Windows and you want to know how to you know put a video card in or put a sound card in or add memory to your computer troubleshoot a computer that's not working how to change a laptop screen if something's not if your computer won't start up say startup issues that's that's another thing that happens to a computer when it's not running right it just you're using it it's working fine and then you'll shut it down and then you might tomorrow or that same day you might turn it on and black screen comes and you're wondering like what the heck happened so you can learn all these different things by watching videos and asking questions that's how I got started but uh, and that's really all it is to it and the good thing about being a computer technician is you really don't need too many tools and the tools that you do need are not very expensive you can have you know I would say for like a hundred dollars you can have everything that you possibly need uh, backup drive and some screwdrivers and a couple pair of pliers and uh, I can go over that with you it's really not too expensive you can you can actually do most of this job with a couple screwdrivers and uh, some discs it's really when you get into computer repair you realize that like 70 percent of all the computer problems are software related hardware things do break you know ram does burn out sometimes hard drives do fail and video cards will fail at times but overall most of the problems that people have with their computer are going to be software related and i can teach you everything you possibly want to know the basics of working on a computer so if you find value out of this video and you want to learn more watch some of my other videos I have some other good videos about how to fix a computer and things you need to know about a computer and um, any kind of questions that you may have like I said leave it in the suggestion box uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything and also um, hit the like button and then I will talk to you soon. Remember this is Mike here, MSO Computer. I have over 30 videos that you can learn from. Just look on my channel and you'll see there's a lot of some good videos there that can teach you some a lot of things and then if you have an, a question about um, you have a suggestion about a video that you want me to make something that you're interested in and you want to learn just let me know I'll make a video on that subject for you okay so thank you for watching this video is about computer becoming a computer technician I hope you got something out of it if you have any further questions just let me know and I'll see you in the next video